Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Immuno Project. We here at the Immuno Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to information, education, inspiration, uh, guidance, advice. And I was re recently discussing uh, with someone the para aduma, the red heifer, that, that's talked about in Deuteronomy. This is the, the red heifer that's burned and its ashes are used for purification. And um, this conversation, as you may know, I'm attracted to the unusual. This conversation reminded me of a Mishnah in uh, Masech the Para, uh, which talks about what happens when the red heifer, now this is completely red, it can't have so much as a single hair of white. What happens when um, the heifer is stubborn, it doesn't want to go, it doesn't want to move out. You know, pulling and yanking, it's not happening. It says you shouldn't take a black cow and you know, entice it to leave, nor should you take another red cow. Why? Because if you take the black cow, people are going to think, oh, well, maybe you slaughtered uh, two cows, or maybe you slaughtered, you slaughtered the black cow instead. And if you take another red cow, maybe they figured, oh, well, you slaughtered the two red cows. And the big concern is that an Epicurus, a, a heretic, a, a skeptic, a cynic, someone who's removed himself from Judaism, might make these claims. Well, it's, it's, it's not legitimate. The rest of the Mishnah goes on about you know, how you eventually get it out. I'm not going to get into that. But um, this strikes me as a somewhat far-fetched claim. Um, because, like, the paraduma happens every once every hundreds of years. The first paraduma was under uh, Moses. The next one wasn't until um, Ezra, uh, the scribe, and uh, Ezra, Nehemiah, Nehemiah, the return of from the Babylonian exiles. Many, 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 many centuries later. Um, so I don't understand what the concern is. Um, uh, Rav Salvechik, I believe, it's Moshe Salvechik. This would be the father of Yosef Salvechik. Um, uh, makes an interesting point. Um, he infers from this Mishnah in Masech the Para um, an interesting point. To the skeptic, to the cynic, to the scoffer, um, there is no proof. If the whole Jewish people witnessed that there was only one cow that came up, it was slaughtered, it would have no effect. To him, fake news. There is no proof. There's no proving. He will reject it and he will come up with some uh, preposterous claim. Why? Uh, Rav uh, Moshe Soloveitchik uh, seems to say that when someone has completely divorced himself from Judaism, from Yiddishkeit, from the Emes, from the truth, acknowledging the truth of the Torah would be catastrophic to his uh, mindset. Um, it's tantamount to conceding his own error. For this kind of person, um, he would. it's much easier to make the most outrageous, preposterous claim than to admit the truth of the Torah. And uh, to a lot of people, I don't know if I would say most people, but to a lot of people, conceding defeat is more difficult than making a ludicrous and preposterous claim against the truth, the truth of the Torah, the truth of the Creator. They, would, they find it much easier to believe uh, some conspiracy theory than what is obvious to everyone around except to him. Um, this has some application to modern times. Um, and some people who find it uh, difficult to uh, see things as they are. Um, we're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Amuno Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you so much.